This statement is a lie. If the statement is true, then it is true that it's a lie and so the statement is false. But if it's false, then it's false that it's a lie, so the statement must be true. This is known as the liar paradox. This is a paradoxical loop that defies logical resolution. Hello everyone, this is Wandering Tati. Welcome to Philosophy Beats, where we explore fascinating philosophical topics in five minutes or so. Today we are diving into the world of paradoxes, those perplexing statements or situations that defy our logical intuitions. Let's start with a classic. Imagine a small town with a barber who shaves only those who do not shave themselves. The question is, does the barber shave himself? If the barber shaves himself, he falls into the category of people who do shave themselves and therefore shouldn't be shaved by the barber. But if he doesn't shave himself, he falls into the category category of people who should be shaved by the barber. At first glance, this puzzle doesn't seem so hard to understand. It is a situation that seems plausible at first, but always ends in a contradiction. Thus, a man that would conform with the description of the barber cannot logically exist, and so problem solved. But the significance of the barber paradox does not lie with its content, but its form. From a structural point of view, it is similar to a more important problem known as Russell's paradox paradox which deals with mathematical sets and its contents. In fact, paradoxes can be found plenty in the realm of mathematics, especially in set theory. Mathematician and philosopher Bertrand Russell encountered a paradox in the foundations of set theory while trying to define sets that do not contain themselves. This paradox challenges the idea of a set that contains all sets that do not contain themselves. Does this set contain itself or not? If it does, then it doesn't, and if it doesn't, then it does. This leads us to a logical contradiction. But contrary to the barber case, we cannot just get rid of this frightening set here. Or at least, it's not possible to do so without debunking the whole of set theory up to that moment. Since any proposition could be proved by contradiction, the existence of this paradox implied that each and every one of the proofs, though not necessarily invalid, may not be proved as valid. So mathematics had to be rebuilt from its foundation after that. No biggie. The resolution of the paradox was no easy task. Several people undertook the problem over the years. Even Russell himself made an attempt with his theory of types according to which he introduced a hierarchy of types to prevent self-referential statements. Very briefly explained, each object was assigned a type and certain rules were imposed to restrict the types of objects that can be involved in a particular statement. However, Gödel's incompleteness theorems showed that Russell's attempt to solve the paradox was unsuccessful. Today, a version of sarmelo frenkel theory is generally used, even though one of its axioms called the axiom of choice was initially highly controversial. This theory, also known as set F, provides a set of axioms and rules for constructing sets, ensuring that problematic sets like the one in Russell's paradox cannot be formed. In it, only those sets exist that can be explicitly constructed from already constructed sets, starting with individual elements and following carefully constrained operations. But this theory too is subject to the constraints proven by Gödel's incompleteness theorems, and thus cannot provide the complete and consistent foundation for all of mathematics. Basically, Gödel demonstrated that any formal system, including the set F set theory, is either inconsistent or incomplete, which put simply means that there will always be statements within the system that cannot be proven or disproven. I would love to hear from you. Have you heard about the Barber or Russell's paradox before? Do you know any other paradoxes? Please let me know in the comments. Paradoxes like this can challenge our understanding and show us the intricacies and complexities of language, logic and the limitations of our systems of thought. And that concludes this episode of Philosophy Beats. I hope it sparks your curiosity and encourages you to learn more about these fascinating topics. If it did, please remember to like and subscribe so that you can keep up to date with new releases. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, until next time!